Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to school. How are you all my dear students? I hope you all are fine at home and enjoying your studies. So my dear students, today we will do English reading of chapter number 3. In previous lecture, we completed two pages of reading and today we will complete the leftover lesson, the another two pages of reading. So why we are doing reading? Because you can know all the pronunciation clearly and you can learn easily all the exercise, all the answers, all the things. So that is why reading of the lesson is important. So my dear students, as in previous lecture you all read with me, same like this, today also you all have to read with me. Okay, first I will teach you how to read all the words, how to pronounce it and then you have to read with me. So before starting a reading, I would like to share a quote with you. So let's see what is the quote. The more that you read, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more that you learn, the more places you will go. The more places you will go. So what's the meaning of this quote? The meaning of this quote is the more that you read, the more things you will know. Because of reading, you can read different kinds of book. You can read different subject book. You can read different kinds of story. And the more places you will go means by the reading, you can see all the places from one place only. How? By the reading about that places. For example, you are sitting in the India, but you can read the history of Dubai, so you can know each and everything about Dubai. But how can it be possible? Only and only because of reading. So that's why reading is very important in our life. So let's start reading. So, this is chapter 3, page number 1, which we have read in our previous English lecture. So, just let me show you that where we stopped yesterday, so we can start it today. Okay? So, let's see these two pages we have completed yesterday. Do you remember that? The last I teach you meanings. So, let's begin with our today's reading session. Okay. So, let's start. Who can tell me what's special about the rhinosaurs? Who can Tell me what's special about the rhinosaurs. Asked the children's father. Asked the children's father. The hard skin. The hard skin. Said Varun. Said Varun. And the horn. Said Jaya. And the horn. Said Jaya. It is the rhino's very on dagger. To fight with. It is the 
rhinos vary on dagger to fight with very good said father very good said father now who's turn to read my dear students yes very good you all remember yesterday's reading right so it's a student's turn to read so you all will read with me okay let's start who can tell me what's special about the rhinosaurus asked the children's father the hard skin said varun and the horn said jaya it is the rhinos very on dagger to fight with very good said father now let's move to the next line let's climb up and sit on the macan let's climb up and sit on the macan said the guide said the guide from the macan from the macan they watched langurs on the tree tops they watched langurs on the tree tops there were many birds around too there were many birds around too now let's read it let's climb up and sit on the macan said the guide from the macan they watched langurs on the tree tops there were many birds around too let's see the next line then they drove further into the woods and approached a hut then they drove further into the woods and approached a hut it belonged to a ranger it belonged to a ranger now all the students will read with me okay let's start then they drove further into the woods and approached a hut it belonged to a ranger now let's move to the next line that is the guide asked the ranger the guide asked the ranger any calls any calls they spoke for a while they spoke for a while and then took off in the direction the ranger had pointed and then took off in the direction the ranger had pointed now it's who's turn to read yes it's student's turn so all the students will read with me okay the guide asked the ranger and he calls they spoke for a while and then took off in the direction the ranger had pointed now let's move to the next paragraph animal sounds could be heard at a distance animal sounds could be heard at a distance what's happening asked jaya 
What's happening? asked Jaya. Her mother explained that her mother explained that the animals call out in alarm when they sense danger the animals call out in alarm when they sense danger the guide was trying to track down a tiger by listening to the animals calls the guide was trying to track down a tiger by listening to the animals calls now it's whose turn to read yes it's students turn to read so all the students will read with me okay students while reading with me keep one thing in the mind that where my cursor moves you can see here black cursor points at that word you have to read okay so let's read animal sounds could be heard at a distance what's happening asked jaya her mother explained that the animals call out in alarm when they sense danger the guide was trying to track down a tiger by listening to the animals calls so let's move to the next paragraph the forest was very quiet the forest was very quiet and no pug marks were visible and no pug marks were visible suddenly there was an alarm call by a langur followed by a sambars below suddenly there was an alarm call by a langur followed by a sambars below the tiger was returning to its meal the tiger was returning to its meal the other animals scattered the other animals scattered a tigeress appeared along with her two adorable cubs a tigeress appeared along with her two adorable cubs now it's whose turn to read students turn okay so you all will read with me look at my cursor the forest was very quiet and no pug marks were visible suddenly there was an alarm call by a langur followed by a sambars below the tiger was returning to its meal the other animals scattered a tiger has appeared along with her two adorable cubs let me show you the picture here you can see a tigeress with two adorable cubs cubs means a baby tiger you can see the picture so let's see the meanings of this page let's start dagger a small sword dagger a small sword makan a 
platform that is built in a tree makan a platform that is built in a tree alarm here an awareness of danger alarm here an awareness of danger track down follow track down follow pug marks here footprints of a tiger pug marks here footprints of a tiger sambar sambar a dark brown deer with branched antlers a dark brown deer with branched antlers below below a deep sound made by an animal below a deep sound made by an animal so my dear students who's turn to read yes it's your turn to read so all will read with me okay dagger a small sword makan a platform that is built in a tree alarm here an awareness of danger track down follow pug marks here footprints of a tiger sambar a dark brown deer with branched antlers below a deep sound made by an animal so let's move to the last page of the lesson so here this is the last page of the lesson so let's start the children excitedly watched from a distance as the cubs fed and frolicked around their mother the children excitedly watched from a distance as the cubs fed and frolicked around their mother the guide explained the guide explained the tigers are known for their power and strength the tigers are known for their power and strength they can even kill animals twice their size they can even kill animals twice their size so it's whose turn to read yes it's your turn so let's read with me okay the children excitedly watched from a distance as the cubs fed and frolicked around their mother the guide explained the tigers are known for their power and strength they can even kill animals twice their size now let's move to the next paragraph jaya thought for a moment and then said jaya thought for a moment and then said mother unlike animals humans do not have fangs claws 
or horns nor can we camouflage mother unlike animals humans do not have fangs claws or horns nor can we camouflage our skin is soft our skin is soft so what is special about us so what is special about us now who's turn to read yes it's my dear students turn okay so all the students will read with me so let's start jaya thought for a moment and then said mother unlike animals humans do not have fangs claws or horns nor can we camouflage our skin is soft so what is special about us okay so let's move to the next paragraph mother smiled mother smiled we humans have remarkable intelligence we humans have remarkable intelligence with it not only can we protect ourselves but also help our animal friends with it not only can we protect ourselves but also help our any friends so let's read this paragraph mother smiled we humans have remarkable intelligence with it not only can we protect ourselves but also help our animal friends so my dear students this question is very important in this lesson we learn about the specialities of different animals that all the different kinds of animals are having a different different specialities so jaya is having a question that what is the speciality of humans so re let's read both the paragraphs again jaya thought for a moment and then said mother unlike animals humans do not have fangs claws or horns nor can we camouflage our skin is soft so what is special about us so jaya is asking that what is special about us let's see mother is replying mother smiled we humans have remarkable intelligence with it not only can we protect ourselves but also help our animal friends how true said the children as they headed back happily how true said the children as they headed back happily let's see the next paragraph daddy shall we come back here for our next summer vacation asked varun daddy shall we come back here for our next summer vacation asked varun sure you seem to have read my mind he smiled sure you seem to have read my mind he smiled so my dear students is whose turn to read yes it's your turn 
so let's read this last conversation of the lesson how true said the children as they headed back happily so how true said the children as they headed back happily daddy shall we come back here for our next summer vacation asked varun sure you seem to have read my mind he smiled now let's see two meanings are given here frolicked played about happily frolicked played about happily have read my mind have read my mind here have got to know what i am thinking about here have got to know what i am thinking about so now it's your turn to read okay all the students will read with me frolic played about happily have read my mind here have got to know what i am thinking about so my dear students this was the reading session of chapter number 3 so let me show you the full chapter and what we learn in this chapter this is the first page of the textbook in this page we learn about the porcupine and a spotted deer in the whole chapter we learn about different kinds of animals and their specialties so in the first page we learn about porcupine and a spotted deer then let's move to the next page in this page we learn about a leopard a tiger and a lion and at last paragraph we learn about rhinoceros then on the third page we learn about the speciality of the rhinoceros after moving that we learn about how animal sense danger when they are feeling danger from other animals how they are passing message to each other then we learn about a tigeress and the two cubs and meanings and on a last page we learn about speciality of the humans in the whole lesson we learn about the different kinds of animals and their speciality and as well as we come to know the speciality of the human beings so my dear students this was the reading session of chapter number 3 so if you are having any queries any doubt regarding this chapter feel free to message me on my whatsapp number so we will meet in our next session till then take care of yourself bye bye everyone